Thank you. Good afternoon, all. Today we have the great good fortune to honor and recognize three extraordinary individuals and their contributions to our community. They are, of course, Professor Lee Gillard, Oswald Hasse, and also FDU alumnus, trustee, entrepreneur, inventor, space traveler, and most importantly, friend, Greg Olson. I met Greg at the recommendation of Peter Schaefer four years ago at the offices of Sensors Unlimited, his then company, in Princeton. I rem remember sitting in the lunchroom sharing a sandwich with Greg as he told me about his life and his companies and his vineyard in South Africa. I knew right then it was going to be a perfect union. <laughs> Greg had a vineyard, and I am very fond of great wine. <laughs> we eventually got back to talking about the university, which led Greg to become a charter member of the Global Advisory Board, and more recently, a member of the Board of Trustees. Next month, Greg will receive the highest honor the university can bestow upon its graduates, the Pinnacle Award. At least I forget, he is also chairing the university's first major capital campaign in more than 15 years. Bravo, Greg Olson. Today, we pay tribute to an alumnus whose journey has become full circle. Returning to Fairleigh Dickinson University where it all began, Greg Olson has chosen to recognize through his extraordinary generosity the difference that our faculty make in his life and in the lives of our students he is sharing his success and his resources with our students. Last fall, we followed Greg very closely in his, his newsmaking journey as we became the only the third person private citizen in history to visit the International Space Station. We were thrilled to read updates about the experiments he was conducting in space, which would add to the understanding of medical fictions back on Earth. And we loved the image of Greg Olson holding up the FDU banner at the space station. It's something that none of us will forget, and I won't allow you to forget because we have a photograph of it that sits in the lobby. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. An extraordinary scientist, Greg is passionate about his love of science and learning with others. While aboard the International Space Station, he communicated with high school students, sharing his impressions of space and the progress of his experiments. Greg told us that his greatest goal, though, is to inspire and to motivate students to pursue careers in science and math. To that end, Greg regularly speaks to students of all ages about his trip into space and the importance of math and science in his daily lives, in their daily lives. In fact, the last time we had dinner together, Greg called and said, do you mind if I come in my space suit? I'm talking to a group of students this afternoon. And he did. And I asked him how often he, uh, he speaks to students at the high school or elementary level. And he said 30 or 40 times a month. And in fact, he had spoken three times that day to different classes. In fact, as a result of his passion, one of the programs that Greg's generosity will support is the TIOP program, the Technical Enrichment and Outreach Program, which brings talent to high school students from Patterson and Hackensack to FDU on Saturdays to further the students' understandings of the basic principles and math of science and engineering. Consider Greg's many achievements. After earning three degrees from FDU, he gained his PhD from the University of Virginia. He then went on to become a, a highly successful inventor and entrepreneur and space explorer. Having developed new technologies in fiber optics while working for the RCA laboratories, he formed two successful companies that produced fiber optic components on a global scale. He holds 12 U.S. patents, has written more than 100 papers, and has co-authored several books. Greg is a model for our students of what is possible through hard work, commitment, and determination. Today, we also honor those who most inspired Greg. I know this is a proud day for Professor Lee Gildart and Professor Oswald, Oswald Hassa, two of Greg's former professors whom he often credits for success. I'm grateful that Professors Gildart and Hassa have joined us for this special occasion. I know they've traveled a great distance to be here. Arriving at FDU during the 1960s, Professors Gildart and Hassa formed the history and the legacy of the physics department, providing us with a benchmark of teaching excellence. To this day, university faculty, staff, and alumni revere their hands-on approach to teaching. 
I've had the opportunity to learn about Lee and Oswald through the eyes of their former colleagues and students, particularly their colleagues Peter Schaefer and David Florey. Lee especially was working with semiconductor materials, and he served as the physics department's chair for a number of years, hosting the department's picnic, which was held each year at his house, and he had a great deal of interest in the social issues of the day. Lee traveled to Washington, D.C. to pr protest the war in Vietnam and played an important part in FDU's governance. In fact, I'm told that for many years after taking part in a maintenance staff strike on campus, that Lee was the person to see if you needed emergency janitorial supplies. <laughs> they also tell me that Oswald was known as a very serious scientist who was devoted and who spent most of his time in the laboratory focusing on electron and x-ray diffraction, which was his specialty. Professors Gildart and Hassa made important contributions to their fields of study and inspired generations of students. They made learning an exciting adventure. Greg has chosen to pay tribute to Lee and Oswald by making a difference in the lives of our current students. Today we celebrate Greg's generous gift of $5 million to the university, the largest single contribution in our 64-year history. To honor this special commitment, and at Greg's request, we are naming the School of Computer Sciences and Engineering the Lee, Oswald, or Lee Gildart and Oswald Hassa School of Computer Sciences and Engineering. The Gildart Hassa School of Computer Sciences and Engineering is a center where world-class faculty provide students with the analytical skills and the engineering knowledge to make important contributions to society and to industry. Greg, we're all so very proud of you. Proud of you and what you've accomplished. Your enthusiasm for this university is an inspiration to all of us who are connected with the university, and especially our students. Thank you for your wonderful generosity. Thank you for your friendship and for believing in the future of FDU. And most of all, thank you for providing a brilliant and inspiring example of the heights anyone can reach with a Fairleigh Dickinson degree.